Welcome everybody to today's Faith Moment. When I woke this morning, I had a, an impression in my mind, a picture if you like, and I want to share it with you in case it helps you as well. It helped me. And it comes from the Old Testament where, let me show you, I've called it Seize the Hope, what I want to say today, Seize the Hope. And the picture that I woke up with in the Old Testament when they had the um, sacrifices on the altar, there were four horns on the corners of the altar. The four horns, you can just see them there, little curly things. And if somebody wanted to um, seek refuge, one of the things they would do, Adonajai in 1 Kings 150, he went and he seized hold of the, the horn on the altar. And that was my sense to seize hold of the horn on the altar. And I'm gonna just, try and explain what I mean. It's a bit harder to get to today, so just bear with me. But the verse I want to use to try and illustrate this is from Hebrews 6, verse 18. Seize the hope set before us. And my sense was it was not about praying or even trying, it was just hold on to it. Seize the hope, seize the hope. Hold on to what God's given us, hold on. In all these trying times, don't work at it don't try and do something extra, just hold on to what God's given us. And that's the place of safety. I'm going to come to it just uh, uh, through that Hebrews passage, but I'll have to just explain the passage first. So you know it already, but just bear with me. So it's Hebrews 6, and it says that when God had made a promise to Abraham, because he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself saying, I will surely bless you and multiply you. So God's promising. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Human beings, of course, swear by someone greater than themselves, and an oath given as a confirmation puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, this is where I'm coming to, when God desired to show even more clearly to the heirs of the promise, that's us, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it by an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it's impossible that God would prove false, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. So just land with me here. It's impossible that God would prove false to his promises. It's impossible. God is faithful. So that we who have taken refuge there's a reason to take refuge at the moment. There's a reason in our hearts to seek a place of security and safety and also a place of courage where we can operate from. There's a reason to take refuge. We who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. So there's a reason to take refuge. There's a God who's made promises and he will always be faithful. But we are encouraged, strongly encouraged, to seize the hope set before us. So what does that mean? What does it mean to seize the hope set before us? Well, let me tell you what it means for me um, from my own life. I'm working at things less now I'm, in terms of my relationship with God. I'm not trying as hard because actually I haven't got as much energy. I'm just holding on to what I know he's given me. I'm seizing the hope. And it's a very peaceful place to be actually. It's a restful place to be. It's a place where I don't have to try and understand everything. I'm just holding on to what I know God has said is true. And that I believe will always be true. And it's all that we need. I'm seizing the hope set before me. I'm seizing his forgiveness and believing it's true. I'm seizing his mercy and believing it's true. I'm seizing his faithfulness and believing it's true. But deeper within that, I'm seizing the truth that I'm his daughter, that we're children of God, loved by our Father forever. I'm seizing that hope and believing it's true. And I'm just holding on. And I think that's all we have to do. We don't have to understand everything, work it out, know what's happening tomorrow. We just have to hold on seize the hope that is given us today. For where you are, that might be slightly different, 
but it's seizing the hope, it's holding on, just in the Old Testament, they held on to the altar corner, onto the horn of the altar, to say everything that's here, it's mine, I'm holding on to it, I'm seizing it, it's mine. Today, we seize the hope set before us. We don't have to understand everything. We just hold on to it, we hold it. And there's a, an incredible way that as we hold on to it, it's somehow like our hearts just find a place of refuge, of security, of safety, and also of strength where we can operate from, where we can become and be used by God to help others. We're seizing the hope set before us. And of course, the passage tells us that we have this hope as a sure and a steadfast anchor of our soul. My sense this morning when I woke up from God was just seize the hope, see, hold on to that, uh, the horn of the altar. Never thought of that before, but it was hold on to that place of refuge, safety, security, strength, hope. Hold on to it in your own life and encourage others to do the same. So I want to take just a moment of quietness. I don't know where your heart is today or where your life is or where your mind is but there's a very strong encouragement to seize the hope that God has set before us and I want to just take us into a few moments of quiet reflection so I just sat seize the hope today where there's fear seize the hope where there's worry seize the hope where there's tiredness Seize the hope. Where there's maybe a sense that we've got stuff wrong and we need forgiveness, seize the hope. Where there's a need for an anchor in our soul, seize the hope. Seize the hope and rest in that place. Let's pray. Father of all, in all that's changing around us and within us, help us to seize the hope set before us today. To seize and to hold on tightly to the hope, the confident expectation of your love, your forgiveness and your mercy. Help men, women and children across the world today to know this hope. Amen. Amen. Seize the hope set before us. Song is a really good way of doing that. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. I love that one. Christ our hope in life and death has got a wonderful refrain in the chorus. Sing hallelujah, it's absolutely brilliant. And of course, cornerstone, my hope is built on nothing less. Seize the hope. Seize the hope as you Take your Bibles and for myself, sometimes I am going deeply into study and reading lots and lots, but other times I'm just saying, Lord, my heart's tired. Just give me a verse today. Give me a few verses that I can just hold on to, that I can seize, that can be mine to take me through the day. Reading our Bibles, praying, and just something very simple. Again, I like simple things at the moment. Maybe just to draw a cross on your hand to remind you that today you're seizing the hope of all that Jesus Christ has done for you and for us and for his world, that you're just seizing the hope and that hope will go with you everywhere you are and everything you do today. Let's pray together. Father of all, give us the grace today to seize the hope set before us, which is an anchor for our souls in these changing times. As we seize, will you strengthen us and will you bless us and will you use us to help and to bless others? And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless you. Let's Okay, the picture. Let's seize the hope today and it will be an anchor for our souls. God bless you and God keep you.